Yes, welcome back to White in the Morning, and this is our first segment of the day. In studio with me is a gentleman by the name George Bush, not the one that took the troops to Iraq, but a uh, Kenyan one. Uh, so the, uh, Bush is a graduate of computer science and information technology, but due to lack of employment, he decided to find a way for himself, and this is the outcome. Mm-hmm. Very beautiful indeed. He has, an, he has an art gallery in Kiambu County, in Georgia in particular, and is here to share his story with us. Karibu sana, Mr. George Bush. Mashukuru sana. Thank All right, you. your camera is number four. Uh, just in case I missed any, uh, anything in the intro, uh, introduce yourself. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you for uh -huh. having me this morning. Mm -hmm. um, as you've heard, my name is George Bush. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. That's the title I go by right now. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> <laughs> not yeah. IT specialist. Uh, IT specialist. Or computer side. No, that's that's no, that's a plan B. That's right. a side hustle. Yeah. That's a side hustle. Yeah, right now. All right. In most cases, people have like a, like a formal job, and then art is a side hustle. But this is the hustle for you. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. right. So I want you to take me back to before you went into college to study computer science. Is this what you wanted to do? Actually, no. Not what you wanted to do? No. All no, right, let me take a wild guess. Your parents wanted you to study computer science or study something uh, pertaining to technology so you can get a good job. Actually, the, we have a free will at home. So uh -huh. it's basically you have to just study. You know, uh -huh. get a degree, get a good job. Basically, uh -huh. that's, that's what is that, that that's is what your parents wanted for yeah, you. Yeah. So you go into school to study computer science. Uh, you learn a little bit of coding here and there. Yeah. Uh, do you still code, by the way? Planning to, uh -huh. because it's it's a side hustle. There's uh -huh. a project I'm working on. Mm -hmm. Some tech I want to build for cars. So, All right. Yeah. Some tech you want to build for cars. Yeah. All right. So uh, are you planning to fuse that technology with the app that you're doing, by the way? Yeah, sure thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure How thing. is this going for you and uh, what is the plan? Um, so far, recently, uh, I, I was studying the Jumia platform, mm -hmm. how they work with the different suppliers mm -hmm. to, to meet customer demands mm -hmm. so i was just thinking about the similar thing with the uh, artworks with artworks yeah but so we uh, might just see a platform for a marketplace for art yeah sure all thing. right and yeah. bidding <laughs> and yeah. we might just see artwork going for as high as a million dollars like we see in the u.s yeah. and europe yeah, yeah. all right so let's uh, focus on it what's your style of art um actually uh I just go with the creativity, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe a good example is this table. You know, mm -hmm. just seen it and I was, uh, an idea has just popped. Uh -huh. uh, probably I can do something with this. With this table. Uh, so All right. So uh, when you talk about this table, are you talking in terms of painting something or just making it look chic and arty? Arty. The whole oh. thing is wow. Uh -huh. When you look at something, of course, it's a table, but mm -hmm. you want to be like wow. All right. Yeah. So, uh, how, uh, so you get inspired uh, by the world, yeah. so I can tell, with yeah. your env uh, by your environment. Yeah. And uh, that's how we get pieces like this. So this is a painting, yeah. and that's a uh, string art. Yeah, right string there. art yeah. That is the great legend, Mr. Bob himself. Yeah, Are you a fan of reggae? No, my brother is. Your brother is? Yeah. So this is something you did uh, for your brother or, or as a result of hanging out with your brother so much? Yeah. All right, so uh, let's talk about this particular painting. Uh, what went into this right here? Um, let's start with the, the, the concept uh, of having a couple uh, in black, a silhouette of a couple, uh, an umbrella. The umbrella is not really covering the heads. Yeah. The umbrella uh, covering the heads uh, like, uh, <laughs> yeah. like, like yeah. vertically. It's yeah. covering the heads uh, on the side. Yeah. Yeah, what is... What is happening here? Um, the whole idea was trying to create a, a romantic, you know, some, something romantic. You mm -hmm. Most most paintings, you know, they they tend to be about, you know, uh, uh, basically what I was trying to do is mm -hmm. express an emotion. Express an emotion, uh, and this is an emotion that everybody goes through. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Including yourself. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I like the texture around here. Yeah. Uh, I feel like even a blind person can touch this piece and and just get a feel of it. Yeah. What, what did you? What kind of material did you use around uh, this? 
the ma the material uh, I, I use a glue gun uh -huh. yeah to create that effect mm -hmm. and then paint it mm -hmm. from you know from from the darker side you mm -hmm. know getting the inside you can see the lighting mm -hmm. the so it's basically an emotion you know mm -hmm. amongst all the crazy stuff going on in the world oh, there's, there's yeah. always a uh, happy place yeah there's so there's darkness place. then it gets lighter then it gets lighter and yeah. then this is a happy place a yeah, happy so. place is you know it's human to human when uh -huh. we get to that level uh -huh. me and you without all the titles uh -huh. or the crazy uh -huh. things going on that's the happy place no, that's a happy but this place. represents all the crazy things that are going on in the world yeah, yeah, yeah. all right using a glue gun to <laughs> to come up <laughs> with the darkness and everything else is this a textbook way of doing things have you seen somebody do this before i'm a big fan of diy's uh -huh. yeah because um I've also made some furniture uh -huh. and some other things. So uh -huh. I, I don't limit my creativity to just canvas. Uh -huh. Yeah, I try to, you know, um, maybe I might surprise you one day. Uh -huh. and come up with an old school vintage classic, uh, you know, built uh -huh. from scratch and all that. So I, I don't tend to limit myself to something. You don't limit yourself to painting yeah. you know, also, I yeah, yeah, see. Yeah. Your art is limitless. Yeah. So maybe if we come to an exhibition by Bush, uh, there might be paintings on this side. We might be having furniture on this side. We yeah. might be having string art on this lamp side. Lamp shades. Uh, uh, lamp yeah. shades yeah. and things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So how many hours a day for you? It's eight to five job. It's an eight to five job. It's an eight to five job. Yeah, that's how I treat it. But you turned the hobby to a job. Yeah. Why to four channel on Twitter, Why to four underscore channel on Instagram, and Why to four on Facebook. George Bush is in the building, uh, create, uh, the founder, CEO and founder of Bush Concepts. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, uh huh. I'm interested in the string art. Uh, this, you use nails, strings, yeah. and wood. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. All right, how do you get to, <laughs> to convert the the idea of a face or the con or the the impression of a face in your head to nails to kneeling first and combining the strings so that I can see it and say this is Bob Marley right there. Um, what I do is my background, uh -huh. my IT background uh -huh. helps me to maybe I can take a photo of you uh -huh. and then you posterize it. Uh -huh. Yeah, there are many apps that can give you that effect, uh -huh. and then. For those who don't know how to draw or uh -huh. sketch, you know, y you can just print it, uh -huh. and then you can do the nails, uh -huh. the outline, and then you can do the string. So you take uh, a picture, you scale it, yeah, and then you know how, you know the dimensions yeah, exactly yeah. digitally, yeah, and then you bring it back on paper. Yeah. So we can't say that uh, you wasted time in school. It was not a waste of your time. Actually, no. It was not a waste of it, your time. It wasn't a waste of time. All right, yeah. between that period that you finished school and you, you started your own art uh, mm -hmm. gallery and company and started uh, experimenting with art, what was going on in your life at that particular time? Because so many people go through that phase and it's a difficult phase. Some of them even end up committing suicide. Truth be told is um, I'm, I'm, I'm recovering from a depression mm -hmm. and it wasn't easy, you know. Losing friends, mm -hmm. you can't pay rent, mm -hmm. you, you can't eat three meals mm -hmm. straight. And, and when you walk out, uh, uh, out of that door and everyone is like, ah, oh, man, how are you doing? I was like, I'm good. You're good, but in the house you're hurting. But I'm hurting. And there's so, you know? so much pressure coming from home yeah, as well. Yeah, true, yeah. All right, so during this phase, what kept you grounded? What kept you from taking the next step? There's this particular day I was on my balcony, that was mm -hmm. last year, mm -hmm. and um, I was just thinking, you know, this is it, mm -hmm. you know. The worst thing right now, the best thing right now is me being in a coma and then wake up mm -hmm. when at least life has moved on mm -hmm. and all these people don't exist and mm -hmm. the pressure is all gone. Mm -hmm. So I walked out of the door and I was like, God, you know, you, you own me, right? Mm -hmm. I was like, God, you, you own me and Today, I'm okay if you take me. Mm -hmm. So I just walked out, you know, just walked out. And that very day, things changed, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I just started, you know, I thought he sent me something. Uh -huh. Next thing, he sent me another person, came and told me like, yo, you're doing great art, you know, uh -huh. you should sell this, you should be serious with this, you uh -huh. should be. And then I sold my first string art. Actually, it's 
the client came from the United States. We never even met. Mm -hmm. So it was through a friend of a friend. Mm -hmm. And I felt if I've sold my first artwork, mm -hmm. then the world hasn't seen the best of me yet. Mm -hmm. So I thought, let me go back to what I'm familiar with. Mm -hmm. And that's my childhood. Mm -hmm. I could do art, I could make stuff, I could. So right now, let me live my childhood mm -hmm. life, but I get paid for it. Mm -hmm. So that's how Bush Concepts started. Yeah. So boys will always be boys. <laughs> sure. All right, so, uh, hey, wow, wow, wow. All right, so you never went through therapy. No. It was self-therapy. You just had to sit and talk to yourself. Talk yeah. to Bush. Yeah, talk to Bush. Criticize Bush, hate Bush, yeah. and then forgive Bush. Yeah. And then move on with Bush. Yeah. We have a piece here on the screen. Oh, yeah. This is a lion. This is one of the big five. This is <laughs> yeah. one of our biggest exports as a country. Yeah. And you've, uh, you've given it a different form. A lion is never blue, a lion is never yellow, a lion is never green. Yeah. A lion has never, ever, ever, ever been white, I think. <laughs> but you, uh, you, have, you have painted this, you have yeah. painted a lion in this way. What yeah. inspired this? Um, actually, this, this is um, an inspiration that I got from one of the artists. Mm -hmm. you know, they used to pass, be before I got to shop, mm -hmm. there's a friend who gave me some space where mm -hmm. I could do some IT stuff, you know, fix iPhones and laptops. Mm -hmm. So before I took artwork seriously. So mm -hmm. he passed and told me like, you should come to our studio. Mm -hmm. So I just went. Mm -hmm. uh, I found him doing this similar piece of art. Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, I've never painted on canvas. Mm -hmm. I want to try mm -hmm. and I want to beat him. Mm -hmm. I want to do it like, you know. You were motivated. <laughs> that perfect piece. Uh -huh. It took me two months. Uh -huh. And this. yeah, right now it's in Kitui County, uh -huh. uh, the county offices, uh -huh. and the inspiration is you know the world, all the colors in the world. Mm -hmm. I tried to squeeze them there, mm -hmm. and it's called a pop art. You it's know, when you look at it, it just pops with pops colors. Uh, sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the offices of Kitui County are <laughs> uh, <I> really <laughs> popping because of that piece. Yeah, yeah. So Kenyatta Trust, you've sold another piece to Kenyatta Trust, yeah. uh, which is transforming lives, and I bet they've transformed your life as well. Yeah. How did this come to, to play? Um, actually, this this uh, was... Um, the, the, the Kenyatta Trust was... Uh, it's, it's because of my brother. Mm -hmm. uh, the Kenyatta Trust took him to high school, mm -hmm. paid for him, mm -hmm. and they're still looking after some many other more kids, mm -hmm. yeah, because um, we were victims of uh, post-election violence, mm -hmm. so, you know, that economical stability we didn't mm -hmm. have, so they took my brother in. Mm -hmm. he, he, he was a victim as well, man. Yeah, yeah. so mm. he went to the officers and told them, like, um, you know, my brothers, um, they've done, you know, uh, my, 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 our second born brother, mm -hmm. uh, his name is Zafania Abel. Mm -hmm. We are together in Bush Concepts. Mm -hmm. We all paint, we all do art. Mm -hmm. So he went and told them they don't have jobs, you know, and uh, they could use anything around, you know, not necessarily what we've studied for. Mm -hmm. So I told him instead, take these artworks mm -hmm. to them. We don't want to look like we're begging or asking mm -hmm. for something, you know. Everyone is, mm -hmm. so let's do it differently. Mm -hmm. Let's sell them art. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. All right, so you, your brother, it's you and your brother at Bush uh, Concepts. Yeah, in Bush Concepts. Uh -huh. And there is a third one, Job Sunday. Uh -huh. He's the one who is on, you know, the program. The all right, so you're the person who pushes the envelopes. You look like the person who does <laughs> the pushing of the envelopes. Yeah, of course. As a firstborn, mm -hmm. you know, it's something you can't run away from. Mm -hmm. you know? So you, you just have to... All right. Yeah. So anytime your brothers tell you, oh, I'm in trouble, you just feel the urge to, to help as a firstborn. I'm not a firstborn, so I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, if, if when you're firstborn, you're not just the firstborn to your siblings. Uh -huh. Even my best friends, uh -huh. my friends, they know Bush as the tough guy. Uh -huh. you know, but yeah, so you have to be, you know, the image. How has this helped you in this corporate side of life? Okay, um, I can say basically confidence mm -hmm. in in my product mm -hmm. and uh, the future because. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling it's bigger than what I see right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's bigger than who we are. It's bigger mm -hmm. than the Bush concepts. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just can't tell. 
All right, so. being a victim of post-election violence, yeah. uh, like uh, like myself, uh, so I try to use my talent and my voice uh, to actually educate people and just let them know that politics can be done in a different way. We can always disagree to agree sometimes. Because politics, you are bound to disagree. Yeah, true. You can't have 40 million people agreeing on one thing. Yeah. But there are different ways of handling things. How are you using your art uh, f uh, for the sake of this country not to go back to a dark age like that? Okay, um, right now, um, as you know, any nation that has the younger generation, uh, you know, there, there are no jobs. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are the majority. Mm -hmm. And now you can imagine right now if God forbid, mm -hmm. if it was to happen again, mm -hmm. will be the most hit. Mm -hmm. So at my studio, what I try to do is try to avoid, uh, you know, you come from this tribe, mm -hmm. oh, you're this and this, you're this mm -hmm. and this. So when we all merge under that roof, mm -hmm. we, we're just artists. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, it's a tribe and of artists. Yeah, it, 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 we don't care where you, you just come from. Yeah, you, you just you're come. people first. Yeah, we're people. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I think that's the best thing to do. Let's be human. Let's uh -huh. be. Let, let's just forget about all this. What's that? What, what that painting is saying? This is so deep. Yeah. What this uh, <laughs> painting is saying. So let the darkness just exist somewhere in the galaxy. Yeah, somewhere else. But else on Earth, let's just have this. Yeah, let's just have that. Wow. That, that simple. Yeah. Wonderful. What is this on screen right now? Uh this this is a mirror. Mm -hmm. It's a concept I was drawing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bush concepts. Actually, I didn't tell you. Bush mm -hmm. concepts is uh, concepts that come from the bush. It's mm -hmm. not bush. <laughs> so you just come up All with right. something, sticks and stone and this and this, and mm -hmm. you create something. So there's a mirror. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, these pieces on the side, these are wastes. So there's a friend called Dan. Uh -huh. uh, the same place we have a studio. He sells mirrors and uh -huh. uh, yeah and glasses so uh -huh. I took the pieces from the trash uh -huh. and did the pieces on the side and uh -huh. then this big mirror here so it's on my wall actually and I've already sold one piece uh -huh. on that very day so uh -huh. yeah more, more is to come yeah. so uh, you can get a mirror custom made for you by Bush for concept. You, yeah all right so uh, the ones on the sides are waste yeah the waste yeah so recycling is also taking place yeah under Bush concepts yeah, yeah. Excuse me. So do you cut glass as well at the studio? Dan does it for me uh -huh. because it's a way of creating employment. All right, so you outsource some things. Yeah, you, uh -huh. you, you don't have to do everything, uh -huh. but you know you have to be keen on the costs uh -huh. so that I can be able to sell it because I'm around JQuad. Uh -huh. So students, I can't sell crazy uh -huh. prizes to, uh -huh. to students. So I try to do the budgeting uh -huh. and still make Dan uh, a quick job, buddy. Put some, <laughs> some money yeah, yeah. in Dan's pocket. Yeah, yeah, I love this so much. So the big question is always, how do you market your product? Creating the product is one thing. Yeah. But getting it to the consumer is always the biggest um, part of the equation when it comes to a business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, good thing is on August, we have uh, an exhibition. Mm -hmm. So we try to go to these exhibitions and create. Mm -hmm. So Juja artists, mm -hmm. we have an exhibition mm -hmm. coming this August. Mm -hmm. So that's one way mm -hmm. we use. We mm -hmm. invite people uh, to the exhibitions. People, yeah. They get to experience your art. Yeah. And uh, in the process, they can tell somebody. They can take pictures, yeah. post it. In the process, they can also buy. Yeah. All right. And 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 they can also get to interact with you mm -hmm. as, as an artist, uh -huh. not just buy my painting. Uh -huh. And um, also, of course, the biggest the biggest mm -hmm. influence is social media, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, you know, online platform. Yes, we are living in a very beautiful age right now. Yeah, yeah. You can do your business online, online, and you can sell anything online as well. Anywhere. So social media exhibitions are the way for you right now. Yeah. And word of mouth. Yeah, and word of mouth and yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, and doing amazing pieces as well. <laughs> that is a marketing tool. All right, yeah. please remind them your social media and how they can find you as we carry on. Um, you can you can find me uh, on Facebook um, at uh, Bush Concepts. Uh, yeah, so basically, pretty much, I'm I'm big on Facebook. Uh -huh. So Instagram, I'm coming soon. Basically, under the same same name, uh -huh. Bush Concepts. So Bush yeah, Concepts is yeah, down. Yeah, coming soon. 
All right. So uh, as we wrap this up, mm -hmm. the no jobs. We've talked about that for sure. This is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And uh, yes, people complain so much. And people get on our Facebook saying they want to do some jobs for us. What can you tell that person who's waiting on a job to put some money in their own pockets and feed themselves? I, I do watch motivational clips mm -hmm. most of the times. And uh, Jack Ma said one thing. Mm -hmm. Where you see, you know, there's a deficit. Mm -hmm. There's something, not, you know, no one is doing something. Mm -hmm. Whether it's the government, mm -hmm. whether it's Y254. Mm -hmm. That's your opportunity mm -hmm. to, to, to create a business with them. Instead of complaining about Instead it. Instead of complaining and, you mm -hmm. know, everyone is on your neck like, mm -hmm. yo, hook me up with the job, hook mm -hmm. me up with something. You find that thing. That gap. That thing. Even if it's the government that should be supposed to be doing that thing. Try you and can make sell money it. off yeah. that thing. Yeah, try and sell it. That's what I'm trying. That's what you're trying. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Bush, uh, for coming through to Y in the morning. We appreciate you so much. So how, uh, what is the location of the gallery? Uh, it's um, in Kiambu County, mm -hmm. uh, Juja, mm -hmm. just next to Senate Hotel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's along the Road. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some stalls there. Mm -hmm. You can't miss them. You can't miss uh, them. Yeah, blue, blue and yellow. Uh, yeah. So um, um, stall number eight. Mm -hmm. That's where you'll find Bush concepts. That's where you'll find Bush concepts. All right, when is the next exhibition? Um, that is um, on August. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I think I'll fill you in on, mm -hmm. on, on the details. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so they follow Bush concepts on Facebook. Yeah, they Like follow. the page, yeah. follow, follow, follow. Share. And dates will be on Bush concepts. Yeah, and also bring ideas uh -huh. yeah, bring it's, ideas it's, it's bush concepts it's bush concepts yeah thank you very much for coming through to why in the morning uh, mr bush keep doing what you're doing we appreciate okay. you so much and be sure to follow bush concepts on facebook like the page and support kenyan art and just experience art so uh -huh. this is where we get a question from one of our viewers and our viewer uh -huh, here is goes by the name ishmael and ishmael is asking uh how do you price pieces of art because it doesn't get the concept of uh, how this can cost a hundred thousand kind of shillings mm -hmm. and this can cost ten thousand and sometimes they look more or less the same, <laughs> the same yeah. yeah okay um one thing is um originality mm -hmm. as 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 artists mm -hmm. we try to identify ourselves with our techniques mm -hmm. what you do so that you know basically prizes something the work you put into something, mm -hmm. like you know the paint, the painting that you are mm -hmm. holding, that determines the pricing. Mm -hmm. And also, who are you selling mm -hmm. to? You know that that also determines, mm -hmm. and how they appreciate you know mm -hmm. the, the artwork. Right. Yeah, because there is someone who will offer even more. Because mm -hmm. of how it makes him yeah. or her feel. Feel. Yeah. Art, is, art is all about how you feel. Yeah, and how you you know how you see it. You how know, you see it. And how you feel it. How you see it and how you feel it. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> and uh, uh, the last one here is, uh, what are some of your inspirations uh, when it comes to painters or artists? Um, da Vinci, uh -huh. mostly because um, he used to combine, you know, I can say he wasn't an artist, a mm -hmm. painter, painter, mm -hmm. but the idea that he can he, he you know he was he, an architect he was an engineer it, exactly. was so many things yeah he's just just so like things. you ah, yeah. computer engineer <laughs> and an artist that this marks the end of this segment thank you very much bush for coming oh, we you. appreciate you so much keep appreciate doing what you're doing uh, sometime in august we'll have an exhibition my bush concepts yeah find bush concepts on facebook like the page follow the page to get more info and just support kenyan art and just appreciate kenyan art i go by the name of by moses or it's very more on every social media platform joy muchache and uh, alex will be coming up with other interviews you don't want to miss this don't touch that out <laughs>